up guys angela phillips here your favorite cincy independent consultant i'm gonna go over the 10 new releases that cincy has out in the new fall and winter catalog season don't mind my mess i don't feel like cleaning it up and maybe we should just move this over so that that didn't improve it anyway um but anyway i'm gonna go over the top not the top 10 but the 10 new releases that came into the catalog for the fall and winter season um i have warmed two of them out of the 10 but i do plan on doing like an actual warm review of the scents uh later as i like actually warm them but right now i'm just going to give you guys my opinion and review of these 10 scents lj loves almost every single one of these scents he loved them all he thought they were absolutely fantastic he was quite impressed by the scents that, he, that they offered and but now you're gonna do mine all righty let's go all right leaves of lavender um this i had actually warmed i made some felt samples with this one and i have a few of them here that's what i did um i love this one i'm I really wish that I could actually warm it, but I can't because of the lavender, but it is, the description of it is soothing lavender and a hint of clove wrapped up in fall leaves invites you to relax. Why is it sometimes when I read these, they don't make sense. Soothing lavender and a hint of clove wrapped up in fall leaves invite you to relax. Okay, maybe, maybe it does. Anyway. Um, I loved it when it was warmed. I thought it smelled so great. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, cashmere leaves. It has like this silkiness to it um, when it's warmed. And it's such a, it's just a really great fall scent. Um, I really wish that I could warm it often. If it didn't have the lavender in it, I, I, oh, I just, oh, it just, oh. <laughs> it makes me mad. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It is the sinus issues worth the warming of it sometimes yes sometimes I will I will sacrifice my own sanity and not feeling good just so I can warm it um, but I, I don't I don't think this is this is the one of them yeah I would have to absolutely love it I have to stop smelling it so, so at first I would say I didn't think I would smell the lavender in it because like when we were at SFR I couldn't I wouldn't have known that it had lavender in it um, but smelling it now and smelling it more in the bar and smelling it it's warmed, I do smell the lavender in it. I didn't warm it very long because as soon as it got melted enough for me to start dipping all of the felts in it, I completely got it out of the warmer because I was like, I don't want to get sick. Um, I have home parties this weekend. I don't want to be that way. So I loved it. I thought it was a really great fall scent. It was very different. Loved it. It was just, oh, it was so good. It does remind me, like I said, of cashmere leaves, which I'm actually warming now. Um, like, but yeah, I think it was great. It's, it's a really great fall scent. White peach and grapefruit. No, white peach and cranberry. There we go. I don't know where I was getting. I think there's a scent that we used to have that was similar. Anyway, this is really nice. It, it re makes me think of like a mimosa almost. <laughs> I didn't even know a mimosa, I think, with orange juice, right? Um, it does smell really nice. It is a juicy bite of fresh picked white, white peach with a tart touch of cranberry. And it smells really, really nice. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> um. It's, it's really nice. It's and when I warmed this one, I felt like it was very fresh and very. It, I thought it was pretty strong. Um very clean very fresh like the peach really comes through in it um but it does make me think of like a brunch kind of drink that's what it makes me think of i really like this one i think it's nice it's nice it's a good like segue from like your spring summers into your fall in my opinion um and the cranberry i don't know about the cranberry and the peach sticks out the most to me but oh no it's it's just a nice clean like fruity scent if you like fall or, or holiday and you don't really want the spice and you don't really want any of that, like I, th I think it's a really great scent overall. Okay, next up. Hey, <laughs> All right, Hayrise is 
climb aboard with fresh hay and sea wood and take a ride through crisp apple or orchards in in this ode to a joyful autumn tradition maybe i just can't read it just sounds weird to me um maybe i don't know i haven't worn this one yet but gosh it has like i think the cedar wood really comes in it strong yeah this smells really nice uh, I, I would love to see how it's warmed. I wonder if like the apple comes through more when, once it's been warmed. It's really nice. It has, it's very woodsy, um, probably from the cedar wood, even though it's considered fresh. My definition of fresh is not their definition of fresh, um, but <laughs> some of their scents, they, they just don't match. Um, it's not bad. I would, honestly, I feel like if you're into like the tree smells, I feel like that's kind of in that realm, but it's not a tree smell. So I think I'm smelling the cedar wood. It has to be the cedar wood I'm smelling the most out of it. And it has a little bit of sweetness to it. But I mean, honestly, I feel like I'm smelling something of Christmas. I don't, I, I mean, I kind of can get vision, a hayride, like actually taking a hayride, like through a forest and all the trees. I can, I can, I can get with that. Like an apple orchard going through all of that. Okay. I can kind of kind of vibe with that but overall like it's not bad but it, to me it has a very tree smell so if you if you don't like any of those kind of smells I don't think you're gonna like this one all right next is cherry chestnuts this one's hit or miss with me sometimes I like it sometimes I don't I think the chestnut kind of throws me off and the cherry they both kind of do so this one is, is warm black cherry topped with roasted chestnuts and a whipped vanilla and sweet savory delight. I do get the, like the whipped vanilla. It's like, it smells, it, I like it. I like the cherry in it. Um, and the nuttiness of it as well. I like it. I think it's really nice. I have not worn this one, so I can't give you any of that, but yeah, it's really nice. The cherry really comes through. And like you get like the back end of like the nuttiness from the chestnut. And then you, I do really get that vanilla in it as well. It's nice. I like it. It's different. I think this is something that I would warm like during Thanksgiving. Um, but overall, like I do really like it. It's nice. All right. So we have vanilla amber. It's been a while since I've re-smelled these, so I'm like, I'm kind of like coming back to like, oh yeah, this is actually really nice. God, this is nice. Vanilla cream, golden amber, and sweet rum. Um, you know, I haven't had lunch yet, and this is really tempting. This is nice. I honestly feel like if you, if you like vanilla bean buttercream, you would like this. Um, it's kind of in that realm to me. It smells really nice. Will it replace vanilla bean buttercream? Do I have some? I don't, so I don't know. Um, I would have to do a video comparing these two once I have some vanilla bean buttercream come in. I'm gonna have to do a note for myself to remember because this one, they're kind of similar to me. They smell really nice. But I will say, if you are a fan of vanilla bean buttercream, I personally do think you will like vanilla bean, um, vanilla amber. If you've smelled both of these and you think that I'm in the same realm of that, let me know. If not, if you think I'm completely off, tell me that as well. Um, but no, like I would say it's kind of in that realm of it. It's nice. I'm pleasantly surprised of that one. Gingerbread pecan waffles. Gosh. Oh, this reminds me of some sense they shoo it's like it hit me in the back um gosh this one man i need to have lunch um this is amazing i think i should do videos of like after i've ate before i've ate to see like does the scent change how much i like it depending on if i'm like i'm super hungry or not um this is really nice it's very heavy to me. I don't know how to describe that. 
gingerbread, uh, savory, savor all breakfast with warm and fluffy gingerbread waffles. Oh, that sounds good. Um, topped with molasses and roasted pecans. Oh man, it has like a, the subtle like nuttiness that you get from the pecans, 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 whichever way you prefer. Um, it's really nice. I would totally warm this during Thanksgiving time as well. Maybe now. I don't know. I'm not big on warming um, food scents because I want to eat everything. Um, but it's not bad. It's nice. I think if you're a fan of bakery scents in general, I think you would like this. It does remind me of some scents we've had in the past. I just can't think of them right now. Um, that I, I liked them as well. But this one's really nice. I, I really, really like it. I, I would like to know what it's like warmed because this makes me want to go and get something from like... I don't know, like a donut or something. I don't know. It just makes me want to have one of those right now. <laughs> Pistachio Woods. I have some wax crumbs. Um, Harper is laying on the floor um, by me right now. So this one was interesting because when I smell on the bar, I don't like. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. But when I smelled it warmed in the past... Um, it was really nice when I've had, I've had customers rave about it. So it is a good scent. It's, it is nutty. It seems to be a theme of some of the scents we have this time around. Um, it's delicate pistachio and buttery almond on a bed of cedar wood. Not what I was expecting. Yeah. It just has like a very, just like a. I don't know, the, the, the nuttiness really comes through on it. Like, really, really. You get a little bit, like, a... I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's like... I don't know. It's kind of... It's like, as I was saying, it was one of those scents when I smelled it in the bar, I was like, mmm, I like it. LJ absolutely loved it. I remember going into a room that had it in the Scentsy Air, and I was like, oh my god, this scent's absolutely amazing. And then I smell it again in the bar, and I'm like, mmm... I don't know if I like it. But it's not bad at the same time. It's, it's just one of those where I think it's a mood. It's a mood for me whether I'm going to like it or not. I don't think it's bad, but it's not something I would warm. But I have smelled it through a pod, and I thought it was amazing. And I was like, I probably would warm it. But then when I smell it back in the bar, I'm like, maybe I won't warm it. So, yeah, it's kind of one of those, like, I ought to be a mood for it. But my mind might change once I actually warm it and then can give you a better review. But so I'm iffy on this one. All right, Alpine Escape. Alpine. I think I liked both these. Or, like, one of these was really, really good. Hold on. I don't know. I actually kind of like them both. Um, <laughs> I was trying to figure which one I liked. Yeah, this one's really nice. Honestly, if I feel like if you like, like, very snowy spruce, I think you like this. So, Alpine Escape is a feel of a rush of minty air among spruce and evergreen trees and a scenic mountain getaway. Yeah, I get that. I totally get that. That is, that description fits it very well. Oh, it smells really great. It's a very, it's a tree smell. So if you don't like tree smells in general, you're not gonna like it. Just, you know, just, just skip past it. You're not gonna like it. Um, I think if you like uh, very snowy spruce. You probably will get into that. It's trees. Kind of has a sweetness to it. You get a very subtle of the mint, but you do get it. I don't know what it's like warmed, but um, in the bar, I really do like it. I think it will be. I don't know if it'll be super strong. It might be. I don't know. It's nice. It's a good Christmassy kind of scent. It's a good, if you're thinking about Christmas gifts, that would be a very good one to get. Um, it's the same as this one, the balsam spice. Okay, let's see. This one is captivating cinnamon as sweet spiced charred cedar and balsam. You really get the charred, like crazy. Um, oh, this is nice. The cinnamon and with it too and the charred, like the smokiness from it. Oh, this is really nice too. I would, this is like a bonfire vibe. Um, like, yeah, this is nice. I like this one. I think it might be strong too. 
it's nice. I th but again, if you don't like tree cells, you're not gonna like this one. You're not gonna like the woodsy. If you don't like woodsy scents in general, you're not gonna like it, but I do get that smoky chard in it. So it gives me like I'm in the woods or the bonfire. Like that's what it reminds me of right now. I think it's really nice. I can't wait to warm this one. This one would be really nice. All right, last but not least, it is brown butter pumpkin. I feel like I smell something nutty in it, but it's not, it doesn't say it's in there. All right, so the description of this is whipped up a batch of seasonal spice mixed, mixing melted butter. I have, I think it's the way I'm reading it. Okay, let's try it again. Whip up a batch of seasonal spice mixing melted butter and brown sugar with pumpkin for a tempting treat. That makes more sense. It's how I'm reading them. It's like, I feel like I'm reading them as if I'm reading it for the first time. I think I'm getting a mix of scents from my hands. I'm gonna switch hands. It's so... I feel like I got wax in my hair now. Um, I don't know what I'm smelling. It has like a toastiness to it. It's got something lingering in the back. I don't know what it is. Um, I will get say it's buttery. I kind of wouldn't mind trying to warm this one. I bet you it makes me think almost popcorn. <laughs> I think the butter is what's throwing me off. Um, it's not bad. I like it. I think almost every single one of these scents I pretty much like. I think Pistachio Woods is probably one I'm iffy on. Um, maybe Hay Rides I'm kind of iffy on. But no, this is really nice. It's different. It's got like a sweetness to it, which is probably from the brown butter. No, brown sugar. The butter. I'm looking at the scent name. Um, but the butteriness is really kind of like throwing me through a loop. Because I'm like, hmm, smells a little bit like popcorn. Almost because of the butter. Speaking of which, we're going to be going and seeing Beetlejuice um, later tonight. In like two hours. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. It's different. It's buttery. It's kind of, it's it's not as sweet as I expected it to be. So I'm kind of curious to see what it's like warmed. But overall, I think it's a great scent. I don't think it's going to be super strong. Um, it kind of seems kind of mild in the bar and I don't, I don't know about the pumpkin. I think for me, I don't think I know what actual pumpkin smells like because every time I've ever had anything with pumpkin, it's always with the spices with it. So, but it's not bad. It's just very different. The butteriness is like throwing me through a loop. Anyway. That's my opinion of it. I'm iffy on this one. I'm iffy on pistachio woods and I'm iffy on hay rides. Everything else I really liked, but overall, all of these scents, I absolutely thought they were, since he did a great job. Um, I've had some fall and winters, uh, new releases in the past where I'm just like, I only like one or two of those scents. They were not that great. And a lot of them never made it into the catalog again. Um, but these are really, really good. Um, they're very different. You got a good, good mix of like your food, your spices, your pumpkins. And surprisingly, there isn't a lot of pumpkin to me. I feel like the only thing that's really in there that's pumpkin-y is the uh, brown butter pumpkin, which kind of makes sense because they came out with like the Gordy Goodness collection, which is pumpkin scents. Then you also got the scents that are gonna be in the Harvest collection, which I think there's some more pumpkin in there. So it kind of makes sense to not add extras um, in, in the catalog because I do feel like they have quite a lot of the pumpkin. Um, already as it is so all in all i think they did a really great job with these two new um 10 new uh new releases that were into the catalog and that is all i have for you guys if you have any comments questions suggestions feel free to leave them below like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one